Hi, I'm Father George, Episcopal priest, Ford truck enthusiast, and smoke brisket champion. What I am showing you today is a modification I did to bypass the heater core in my 1995 F350 pickup truck. A big uh, thank you to Trey Spooner in his YouTube video who showed exactly how to do this modification. I basically did the same thing, but the results were so dramatic, I thought I would share those with you. Uh, I bought the bypass valve from Amazon for about $18 and the rest of the components I bought from a local auto parts store for around $10. So it's not too bad at all. Uh, my AC system has a leak in it and uh, I'm going to be replacing the compressor and the condenser and a couple of other components. So I had the system, uh, the Freon in the system recovered and with no Freon in the system I was able to assess the impact of this modification and uh, I want to show you the modification I made and then share with you those results. Okay, basically here's the modification as I installed it in my truck. The first thing I did was let the truck cool down and then open the uh, engine cool it, uh, system here to let the residual pressure in there bleed down. You don't want to cut the lines with that pressure in there. Um, there are the two hoses, the heater hoses that feed the heater core inside the cab. And basically all I did was uh, cut those hoses right here in this location and installed the valve, keeping the orientation of the hoses uh, the same uh, with how they are in the valve. Um, piece of cake there. And uh, there's the actuator. And this is run off of the same vacuum line that controls the outside air recirculation door. Uh, in my truck, that happens to be here in the engine compartment. In some trucks, this actuator is actually inside the cab under the dash, and you would need to access that from under there. Uh, but in my truck, it was a piece of cake. It was right here. It's kind of hard to see. There's the actuator. And basically what this does, when you put the air conditioner selector into max cool, it closes this door so that it uh, recirculates air inside the cab. And we're going to use that same vacuum signal to operate this actuator here so that when you're in uh, max cool with the air conditioner selector we're bypassing the heater core and uh, heater fluid is just recirculated uh, right through here and the heater core is bypassed. Uh, so I cut the uh, original line which is you can see here and here and 332nd vacuum tube uh, fits right over that line nicely. Uh, and it makes a nice seal. You don't need a tie wrap or any other kind of clamp there. And used a T and then just teed in, uh, teed into the line for my actuator there. Piece of cake. It took me literally five minutes to do this installation. The longest part was just waiting for the truck to cool down when I got home with all my parts. And that was basically it. Okay, so uh, the truck has been running for about a uh, half an hour now, and I've um, uh, been driving with it, and the temperature seems to stabilize. You can see the, uh, the temperature of the truck is at, uh, it's at its normal temperature now, and has been for a little while. And with the air conditioner on a max AC cool, remember there's no Freon in my system, because I, I had it evacuated so I couldn't uh, work on the system tomorrow. Uh, you can see that we are at 91 degrees air temperature coming out of the air vent with the uh, air conditioner set to max AC cool. So I'm going to turn that to normal now and drive for a little while and let the heater core uh, fill with hot radiator fluid and we'll see what the temperature is from there. Okay, it's been about 25 minutes. Um, I drove around for about 20 minutes with the control knob set to norm AC, which allowed radiator fluid to circulate into the heater core and heat that up. Uh, and then uh, switch back over to max AC and just let the temperature stabilize. And, uh, for about the last little four or five minutes, the discharge temperature from the vent here has been right at about 101 degrees. So a full 10 degrees warmer than it was uh, when the heater core was bypassed. So, uh, as you can see, this made a pretty significant difference, and that uh, 10 degree difference ought to be a big boost to cooling once I get my AC system back running again. 